Coming up on the show today, we have a young man dealing with the dilemma of choosing what's most important in life, his dreams or his loved ones. A decision no young man should have to make. Anyway, enough about that. I'm Graham. Welcome to my show, Guys, So Graham, I'll be your guide. Come along, my little cherubs. Oh, fuck it out. Okay, so I've got his email right here. To Graham, I hope you're well. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, darling. I'm 24 years old and I don't quite know how to say this, but I think I've hit rock bottom. Oh, Petal, why would you ever say something like that? People always say to follow your dreams, do what you want to do in life. Follow your dreams? <laughs> it's a little thing like that, Petal. That's borderline delusional. I think you've been watching too many of those little princesses movies. Anyway, let's read on. I've spent the last 18 months trying to fulfill my dream of becoming a successful entrepreneur by starting my own business. Needless to say, things have not been going so well. My business has failed to break even and I'm earning much less than my previous stable job. I've tried everything, Graham, and I've risked so much that I've lost everything that ever mattered to me. My friends, my family, my fiance, a roof over my head, all vanished in the blink of an eye. Well, I've seen people like our friend here uh, many times before during my very long and very, very, very successful career. I know it's said that you should never give up and tough times happen to all successful people before they're successful. But when you're struggling to make a living, showering every day at the local homeless shelter and have lost everything that ever mattered to you, is there any shame in quitting? Well, you, you do sound like you're a bit of a pickle, and, but nobody likes a quitter. I look forward to hearing from you so I can get my life back on track. And that's from Bean. You just hate to see it. a naive youngster like yourself putting in all the hours, doing days of endless work, doing everything right, and life just throws it back in your face. But that's what this show is all about, this multi-award winning show. We're going to help you, Bean. Stay with me. Just, just off the back of that, I think we've got Bean on the line. Bean, are you with us? Can you hear me? How are you, Petal? Okay, yeah. Um, thanks for having me on the show, Graham. Uh, I really, I really appreciate it. Um, just one thing, though. Uh, my name's not actually Bean. It's, uh, it's Ben. Always a pleasure, my little scrumptious Bean. So, tell us the story from the beginning. I, uh, my team has told me that you start this project off, the special project off, with uh, a few of your friends. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So there was about four or five of us at the start, um, and I came up with the idea uh, for this project, but my friend Rory sort of brought us all together. Oh, isn't that a special name? Rory? I'm going to have to remember that one. So this sounds like it was a really exciting venture for you and your friends at the time. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it was just amazing that those early times together just... It didn't even feel like work what we were doing and it was just it was just a great time in general really i mean um at the time uh i proposed to my my girlfriend of, of four years and it was just it was just great it was just a really really good time and we just we all got on so well and it, it was just great we we loved it every second oh gosh that sounds like a wonderful time darling your family must have been so proud of you the little bean, the little scrumptious bean, all grown up, getting out the can. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> I mean, my, my family were good early on, actually. Um, they they really supported um, me and the me and the group, uh, particularly financially. They they gave us a hand with the um, the startup money, like uh, early on when we were trying to get off the ground. Hearts of gold in your family, petal, and. Am I right in thinking they helped pay for your fiance's engagement ring? Yeah, because of the um, 
well, the the position we were in, obviously, with pretty much no money, um, it's you know it's hard to pay for these kind of things uh, with engagements and whatever else that comes afterwards. Um, and my family, they they really really liked uh, my partner at the time, and there was this one ring. Ugh, it was just amazing, like really so beautiful, and they just insisted on buying it. And what was her name? Uh, Grace. Oh, that's gorgeous. And am I right in thinking that Grace shared in the sort of workplace banter? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, Rory and her just got on like an absolute house on fire. Like, it was hilarious. No, it was really good to see them getting on. Well, that sounds ideal. <laughs> Over in the house being on fire. <laughs> am I right there? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you don't mind me asking, Bean, um, when was it that things started to to change, you know, and start to hit for, you know, rock bottom? I've um, I've been working really hard and you know long days and nights the the past weeks and probably months to be honest. I've had no social life, no time to spend with my family, with, with Grace, and yeah, it's um, it's been rough. And um, I just, I always, I always thought, you know, the the harder I worked, the harder we worked, the the more we'd we'd succeed in the end, and it, it just hasn't worked out that way. Um, you know, we've we've been working on this for a while, and we we made no money so we got into a lot of arguments you know me and the group specifically me and Rory and it, it just got too much in the end and um, they left to to make matters even worse um, Grace uh, Grace um, broke up with me and um yeah she she just she always said it's it's me all me all that business it's me all that stupid project and she just couldn't take it anymore just take you know me just never been around and i i have no money <laughs> um and my, my family aren't willing to help until I um I I pay all that money back from the ring, so uh Oh darling. I'm so sorry for you, it's clearly been a hard time. That's that's clear for anyone to see. Yeah. <sighs> okay, Bean. Look as I've said, we've had many ambitious young men and women here on the show. Um, and that's why we started a, a new programme on Guidance with Graham, um, which is Guidance with Graham Entrepreneurial Programme. And we'd, we'd love to help you and your business take off. So I'm going to give you an opportunity, Petal, to sell your product to me. And we'll see if we can get you some financial backing and help you take the next step forward with your business and head off in the right direction. Really? You, you really mean that? Of course, my angel. Anything and everything. We will move mountains to get your business where it needs to be. Thank you so much, Graham. This is, this is such a huge deal for me. And I, I don't think you can quite understand how much this means to me that you've given me this opportunity. Okay, to... enough of the chit chat, Petzl. Let's hear it. Right, yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, right, so you've obviously heard of the microwave. I have that one. It keeps me fed with red meals every night. Yeah, so um, what if you had the same tech, the almost the exact same tech, except the other way around? So instead of heating things up, you had something that could freeze, cool, something instantly. Right. Introducing the cooler wave. So you can make 
loads of different things. Loads of different things. So you can you can make ice creams in one or two minutes flat, where you can if you've got a leftover meal or something, then you can freeze it instantly. You don't have to wait around and um, you, you can ice cubes and stuff and different, just different treats and... Darling. Yes, Graham? I've got a fridge and a freezer in my apartment. Why would I want your Coolie Wave thingy? It's, uh, it, it's cool Wave and a, a fridge or a freezer is just so slow. You can't, like... Free stuff instantly. Like, Pencil. like. Why would I want to freeze my stuff instantly? It's not a race. There's no hurry. It's just not going to do it, Chero. It, it's just not going to sell. And plus, it's already been done. No, it hasn't. Yes, well, of course it has. Microfreeze? Haven't you heard of it, Alan? The guy sold loads of them. Heaven only knows why. Microfreeze, but we checked the we checked the market before before we started. Like I wouldn't lie to you, my angel. Look, I'll Google it really quick for you on my laptop here. But Graham, this doesn't make any sense. We checked we checked the market beforehand. I'm the one who came up with the technology for the cooler wave. It doesn't make any sense that someone has just rocked up and is selling the exact same product as I was. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, uh. What is it? Graham? D darling, I'm not quite sure what to say here. Um, your friend Rory, was it? Yeah, what about him? There's, there's no easy way to say this, pet, but... He's done you. He's taken your idea and he sold it. And he's a success. He's loaded. He's got a new Mustang and everything on here. I'm on his LinkedIn and this is the most impressive thing I've ever seen. No, Rory would... <laughs> Rory would never do that. We've got the page here to prove it, Bean. That him, yeah? Oh, and you've got to say his lady is a stunner, isn't she? Oh my God, that's Grace. That's Grace. That's 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 my my Grace. What is he doing with her? Oh, darling, it's it's worse than that. I, I'm so sorry. I've just had word from our team, and it turns out they're engaged. Um, I don't believe this. And to make matters worse, they've they've got a kid on the way. Actually, it's already be here, so... Even if it were true, there's no way. It, they have a kid, like, nine months ago. We're in the project together. She cheated on each other for a whole six months behind your back until, I guess, one day she fell pregnant. I, I guess that's why Grace and Rory got on so well after all. That explains it. Oh, I mean, it's easy to see why. That Rory is an absolute cat. He stole my partner. We were together. For... Together for years. I know, Petal. I know I don't need to hear it again. My family, they... Their daughter. I don't suppose it matters much now. Anyway, Petal, they don't want to see your face until you've given them back their money anyway. But I have no money. I have no money. And I wish I could help you, Petal. But I can't. We just can't be taking on big risks in our entrepreneurial programme. See, it's just starting out and, to be honest, you're a bit of a dud. You've shown yourself to be too kind, too optimistic and easily led on by those around you. In terms of a businessman, you've got no original ideas no motivation and you're just not going to survive in a world of big sharks as it is in the world of business and that's clearly been shown today as as rory that big beautiful great white shark has just come up and ripped your life apart and for that reason petal it pains me to say i'm out all the same petal 
We'd love to help you in our aftercare programme. To help you get back on your feet after all. Uh, just stay away from any dream chasing now, will ya? Thanks again in touch, Petzl, and, and bye bye for now. Wait, Grant, no, wait, wait. Just fuck off. Anyway, to my fans, thank you for watching every week. It really helps to know that I've got a passionate audience behind me when I help and serve these people that come onto Guidance with Graham. It's a real privilege to know I've got support out there. Be sure to catch us for the series roundup, but until then, thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.